Okay, now that we're loosened up, it's Katie French, Paleo Cooking Boot Camp. <sighs> How'd this come about? Well, I love your background. Yeah. Tell us about that lawyering time, the crazy hours, and this inspiration. Yeah, so I was a litigation attorney. I uh, started out pretty young doing that, was working insane hours. Um, I had found the paleo way of life, and I really liked it, and it really made me feel good. It made me, my energy was really good, and I wanted to find a way to be able to eat paleo and cook paleo amidst a really busy life, a really busy, stressful career. So I think everyone can relate to that feeling of coming home after a long work day. Your energy is already low. Yeah. Um, your motivation is low accordingly. Yeah. And you're going to reach for the easiest thing or maybe stop before you get home yeah. and, and have someone hand you a styrofoam. Totally. Um, so how do we spin out of that? I mean, yeah. so what you did was you took this challenge on. You said, this can't go. Yeah. This can't happen this way. Yeah. You figured out a new way. Yeah. So I literally couldn't think about cooking dinner on the weeknights when I was working. Um, some nights I wouldn't get home till 7, 8 p.m. And yeah, I just wanted to stuff something in my mouth and I didn't want to cook. So I realized that if I was going to eat a certain way and cook a certain way, I had to do it on the weekends. I had to do it not on the weeknights. Um, and so I developed the system for myself of meal planning once a week on the weekends, going and grabbing my groceries, getting home, and just basically cooking my butt off for a, whatever period of time I had. Usually it was only a couple of hours. Mm. And just cook as much as I could to take me through the week. And man, it was a lifesaver when I would get home from a busy day and be starving and want to continue to eat well so my energy wasn't impacted negatively. Just reach in the fridge and grab something out that was you know, ready to go, take my lunches with me to work, have breakfast on the go, have snacks available. Um, so it really was the only way that I could kind of survive in this crazy work week that I had. Uh, and then you told me something happened at the workplace, which was people were congregating around your office, yeah. coming for dietary advice and looking at these prepared meals every day. Yeah. What do you got now? Yeah, and people would get excited about what I was up to with that. Um, and I had colleagues who found it equally challenging to stay healthy in the context of the modern busy life um, that we lived. Um, come to me and kind of ask me for advice and ask me how I did it and help them develop meal plans and so I just started being kind of a an informal health coach within my uh, my practice and you were billing at your same hourly rate that <laughs> I you were should billing. have <laughs> uh, so this was the foundation for the actual physical boot camp yes. that was award-winning in the San Francisco Bay Area yeah so what I started with so you know I decided I decided that I needed to support busy professionals. I was getting so much attention from my colleagues and questions, um, even from friends and other professions and things. And I just felt like there's nobody learns how to like balance a healthy lifestyle in the context of a modern busy lifestyle. And I just felt absolutely compelled to support busy professionals um, in this way and teach them what was successful for me. Um, and so some of my first clients were lawyers who I had worked with previously. Um, they hired me because they knew that I really could practice what I preached. Um, and then I started coaching people one-on-one -on -one mm. first and realizing that when I gave them a little bit of extra help with the meal planning and actually going into their kitchens and doing private cooking sessions, that they, you know, their, their progress and their success was that much more. And so I decided I wanted to try to reach more people. So I formed little group classes where we would have the same method of um, cooking ahead for the week. So I'd, my clients would show up, we'd cook together for two weeks, or I'm sorry, we'd cook together for two hours, and each client would take home a week's worth of meals that they cooked. Um, and so then they would be able to stay on track for that week, come back the next week and do it all over again. And so um, after having you know, a successful class, yeah, I, I had the honor of receiving an award by San Francisco Magazine for best cooking class in San Francisco Bay Area. Um, I just realized I, I want to scale this up. I want to help more people. And so we created the digital program so I can access people in their homes. Um, they don't have to come to me and take this class. They can do it on their own partner up with friends and do it in a group at home. Even they could rent out a kitchen space and do it as their own group. I could see this, you know, really being community like enterprise. So I'm really excited to be able to 
um, work with more people through the digital program. Uh, and so, you know, I, I get to see your stacks and notes here and all the, the logistics behind yeah. it. But when you think about, oh, I'll take two hours in the kitchen and I'll make a bunch of meals, it's much more difficult than that. And it, it requires this methodical approach that you've carefully thought yeah. out and strategized. Yeah. So what's the difference between someone just going in there and grabbing a few cookbooks and yeah. trying to make it happen versus this step by step? Yeah, so it's definitely my personality to be very methodical and systematic about things. And this program is designed to save people so much time. So when I developed this system for myself, I would you know, spend time looking through cookbooks and trying out recipes and some worked and some didn't. Um, so I've taken kind of all of the guesswork out of it. You don't have to, you could spend hours looking through cookbooks and finding the right recipe, going and getting the groceries for that, coming home and making a mm. meal that wasn't even very tasty in the end and you didn't really want to eat. So I've, I've created a system where all you have to do is go to the grocery store, take my list with you, come home, turn on the video program, cook with me for two hours and you're done. So, you know, three hours a week and you've got food for the week. And I've taken all of the additional time out of that, that logistically, it's a lot of work, yes. So the online version of the bootcamp is new, but you have had students now uh, several years back and mm -hmm. going forward and keeping in touch with you and telling them what kind of results are they getting or how is it impacting them long-term? Yeah, I mean, people are really able to assimilate this way of eating as a lifestyle. Once you adopt this method, um, they build up a lot of confidence around cooking, around the paleo way of eating. I have clients who are constantly sending me new recipes that they developed on their own. So, you know, recipe development, it's not that easy, but they're, they have so much confidence that they're like, I tried a little bit of this and I replaced this with that. So really finding a lot of fun and a lot of joy in it so that it it is something that they want to continue to do and something that they want to make a lifestyle around. If it's satisfying, if it's fun, if it's a system that works, makes them feel great, it's something they're going to want to continue to do and that's been my experience. Um, like you were telling the, the student, uh, Sue, the other day, um, that you're, you're taking the thinking out of it in a way. Mm -hmm. So you're getting that momentum going where you just right. show up, get your shopping list, do it for two hours, and now you're getting so good at it yeah. that you could probably try some new recipes, but you yeah. have those kitchen skills going. You yeah. see that happening? Oh, definitely. Um, absolutely. People are just kind of taking to this process. Like you said, they build up this momentum with it, um, and they just they feel like they can accomplish a lot more. I mean, meal planning is very daunting to someone who's never done it before. A systemized approach to cooking is really daunting for someone who's never done it before, but you build up the confidence after doing it guided step by step for several weeks and you're like, hey, I can tackle this. I can maybe create a whole new meal plan all on my own. Um, yeah, so I definitely find that people take this process as a launching off point and they make it fit even better into their lifestyle.